Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use If This Then That for eBay sellers in particular. So you would go to the IFTTT, if this then that, dot com website um, and you would click on sign up. I'm going to sign up with my personal account because I've already done my business account. But just to show you real quick, how it's really, really easy. So you just sign in, create your login with you know whatever username, password, etc. you want to use. As I said, this was I'm gonna use my personal one just to show you how the process goes. You click on create account. Oh god, go, oh, go. Oh. And then for example, if tomorrow's forecast calls for rain, then you'll get an email. That's an example of something that you can do. So if a particular action happens, then um, they handle the rest and make sure an action happens. So for example, you can connect your Gmail, your Facebook, your Twitter, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, your Evernote, your Google uh, Drives and Dropbox, all, all kinds of things. But I've already linked my Twitter and Instagram and LinkedIn, so uh, let's do this one and um, Oh, my YouTube channel, my personal ones. So you then choose recipes. So um, if you want to save, for example, if you want your your star Gmails, you have important emails that you want to be saved to Evernote so that you can find them later. If you post a link on Facebook, then you'll automatically have it tweeted out uh, as another example. Now they have shown you how to create the account. I'm actually going to uh, log back in with my business one so that I can show you the recipes that I'm choosing to use for eBay. So here's a recipe that I actually created myself. If eBay, then WordPress. So what this does is if a new item is listed on eBay, then it'll create a photo post on the, the blog. Um, so you can actually search this. You would you would click on, on browse and you can do eBay and then WordPress and do a search. And, and it'll come up. It's the only one, surprisingly actually. And you're gonna select that um, recipe and then you click on the little drop down and you can put in your seller username here. So that's what you would want to do. So change your username, otherwise it's gonna do my own. And you couldn't choose a max price. Uh, the title, image, URL, the title, buy it now, price via eBay, and the link, what category you want it in, and tags if you want to put it. And I choose to automatically have it saved as a draft because I want to be able to edit it just in case there's something else. And then you just click on add recipe. Um, if you haven't linked your eBay or WordPress, then it'll ask you to add those channels. So to add a channel to if this, then that, it's really easy. Um, you can browse or you can do a search. Like right now I have you know 22 activated channels including Tumblr, WordPress, eBay, uh, InStyle, New York Times, Instagram, YouTube, Buffer, Gmail, Twitter, so quite a lot um, and you can just browse the channels and find something that applies to you. But as I said, so with the recipes again, <clears throat> right now for example I use Buffer to send out content to my different accounts. Um, so I chose another recipe that if I send something to Buffer, then it'll get posted to WordPress. Again, as a draft that I can edit and then post that content to my blog. If I post a YouTube video uh, to my YouTube channel, then it'll get posted to my WordPress blog. So this is really great if you do YouTube videos for your eBay listings or anything of that nature. You can then automatically have it put onto your blog on WordPress. I also have it the other way around. If I post something on WordPress, it'll get sent to Buffer, which will then put it onto Google Plus and other areas. Um, if I post uh, something on Tumblr, this is really if I post anything on Instagram, it automatically gets posted on Tumblr as well. So if it gets posted on Tumblr, it'll get posted on WordPress. And again, this applies to listings or any other content that I choose to share there. I'm also using it to create content on my blog uh, that is related to my eBay listing. So for example, the New York Times, anything that's related to fashion and makeup will get posted to WordPress. Uh, in style, the magazine, also the look of the day will get posted to my WordPress blog. 
and it also get tweeted the most viral st stories. It'll also automatically post new eBay listings of mine to Twitter. So this one, um, I made sure that I put in my username. It'll auto post. Um, and I changed it. You can edit this a little bit. So it'll say now available, the item title, hashtag eBay URL, and then I put a hashtag fashion. You can update this and make it more to, you know, more specific to your types of items. But that's a way of automatically posting eBay uh, listings without having to do it manually every time. And so, you know, as you can see, I've got quite a few. So Instagram goes to buffer. If I, I can wish people a happy birthday. Um, I can thank followers on Twitter automatically. If I post something to Instagram, it'll get posted on Twitter as a photo instead of a link. So there's different ways that you can work around this. And if you don't find one, because you can go in and browse and choose whatever you need. Um, but, it, you know, you can do a search for, you know, you could do eBay search, for example. Um, and there's 383 recipes. Uh, and, and this is a lot of the times it's for shoppers, you know, for shoppers. So someone put up something that I want, you know, if you're searching for something specific and you get a notification, you can email yourself when certain lists go below a certain price point. So this is good for online arbitrage type thing. You know, if you want to buy a, a product and then flip it so you can get a, a notification when it goes down a certain price point, um, you know, you can tweet it. Uh, so there's just different things that you can do. You can add results to a spreadsheet. Uh, you can save your eBay orders to, to calendar, etc. So there's all kinds of things. I haven't even explored all of these yet. Some of these seem that, you know, like they could be useful. Others not so much. You can get notifications. Um, you know, again, you know, auto posting. Let's see if there's anything else that's interesting alerts mainly it's alerts um, but yeah so you can make your own recipes if you don't find something that you like or modify the ones that already exist um, all right so I hope that that kind of helped a little bit to figure out how if this then that can help you as an eBay store owner and thank you for watching